welcome to the garden. Today I've taken out my compost sifter and this was a really easy project to make. I've taken hardware cloth and strung it over some deck spindles that I've mocked up in a frame. I just nailed it in, did some staples for support, and I folded over the edge of the hardware cloth so that there's nothing to catch your gloves on or anything. I originally designed this just to sit flat like this and then I would work the compost through. But today I've tried something new. I'm setting it up at a 45 degree angle and I've just got it leaning against one little pole here. I tried some supports but they didn't do quite as much as I was expecting so I got rid of those. So it's really just an inclined plane or a ramp that we're going to be rolling our compost down. So I'll take a scoop, a couple scoops, throw them up here, and then kind of fluff them against, against the hardware cloth like this. And this will screen through everything that's nice and finished. So it's not too steep so that the compost can't have time to fall through the cracks, but it's not too shallow so it gets clogged up. It's just, just about right at 45 degrees. Not everybody needs to sift their compost, but I always add new material just in with the old material. So to separate it to use on the garden, I do like to sift mine. It, and we've sifted basically the entire pile. And this is going to save my back from bending over a lot. It's a really simple way to sift your compost. And you could extend this to something that's like five feet high. And then you wouldn't have to do this fluffing so much. It would just roll down and sift through. So we're using gravity instead of elbow grease so that we get this beautiful fine sifted compost without much labor at all. In about an hour I managed to get this entire wheelbarrow full. That's a lot of compost. Some of this will go straight into the garden. I just use it as a top dressing to kind of fertilize and to bring back some nutrients to the soil. Some of it will make compost tea. You can take about a handful, drop it in a bucket of water. I'm gonna do two handfuls on this batch just to really get a nice strong batch of tea. Then you wanna let that sit, mix it up a couple times, let it sit overnight and it'll extract all those nutrients. This is fun too, it's like a witch's brew kind of thing. Mixing it up will really help those minerals dissolve. You see that beautiful color. I want to mix it up a couple times. I'll probably mix it up once more before bed and then once again in the morning. And then it'll be ready to go on the garden. And this is incredibly mild. You really cannot overdo it. With chemical fertilizers, they can get burnt, basically. Too much fertilizer. But this compost tea is just incredible. You could water every time with this and you'd have just amazing results. So a lot of this is going to go straight onto the garden. Some of it will make compost tea and some of it will go into brand new containers mixed with native soil. So whenever I start a brand new container, I usually do sticks and leaves down at the bottom. This will stop that soil and compost from falling out the holes, but it'll still have plenty of drainage. And these will break down over time, and they'll actually develop some leaf mold, which is a mycorrhizae fungus that can actually 
benefit your plants. So I've got half native soil and we'll fill it in with about half compost. So we got 50-50. My native soil has lots of clay so when it rains it just the water kind of runs off and it can pool on the surface which is bad for seedlings. So this compost is basically the perfect mixture to equal out our native soil. You could use 100% compost, but then you're basically wasting nutrients. You're going to have so many nutrients in there that you really don't need them. So I mix it about 50-50. That way we get all those trace minerals from the native soil. We get those microbes. And we get what ends up being a pretty light mix for how much clay was in there originally. All that compost really retains water well. It's really lightweight. It's just like a miracle for your garden. So I want to make sure we get a good mix because any clumps of clay are going to be inconsistent and that's that's not what we want. We want a good consistent mix. So that looks really nice. So now we can just add that to our new container. Looks like I missed a little, little bit of that clay, so I'm going to mix in some compost here. But this is how I've started the entire garden. Every single container is built with this same method. Sticks and leaves down at the bottom, just for kind of a filler. And then a mix of native soil and compost, up to about 50-50. That's usually a great ratio to go to. You could do 30-70 or 60-40 in favor of your native soil, depending on how much clay is in there. We just have a lot of clay. So by adding all that compost, it'll really absorb more moisture. It'll stay nice and consistently moist, and we'll have tons of available nutrients. This is ready to plant anything. So today we're going to plant out some basil. Probably my favorite thing to do with compost is to plant seeds in a no-dig method. So I've got a little mix of basil seeds and flowers and soil. I'm just going to spread them on really thick. And because herbs don't really need to be buried very deep, we're just going to top them with a nice light coating of our compost. So by doing this, we can pick the exact depth that we want to bury them. It's incredibly simple to do. All we're doing is just giving them a light coat like that. Got a little pumpkin seed I don't want, but... Then this is going to retain moisture to keep those seeds moist. It's got that dark, rich color. As long as it's wet, it'll be almost black. That way it can absorb tons of heat from the sun. And then of course all those nutrients are going to be available right away for those basil seedlings. So this is definitely one of my favorite things to do with compost. So you can start a new container, you can top dress, you can plant seeds with a no dig method, or you can make compost tea. So I've turned the entire pile over. It really doesn't look like we took anything out of it because we've introduced so much more air. I've added a few leaves, but really not enough to replace all of this compost. Look at this. We got this entire container full of nice, finished, sifted compost. That was about a dozen of these potfuls. So I am super happy with these results. It wasn't really that much work because of our uh, new ramp system. So I'll be able to do this again, probably midsummer, and then a third time at the end of the year, right before winter. So we get tons of compost by doing this. Just adding food scraps from the garden and leaves from around the yard. It makes really, really beautiful stuff. 
and it's just crawling with life. There are all sorts of little beetles and worms and mites and the microbial activity is just off the charts in this kind of stuff. So there's tons of available nutrients from all that decomposition. It's just amazing stuff. So if you're sifting your compost this year, I really hope you give this a grow. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.